OK, so this video is going to show you how you can transfer your WhatsApp pictures and videos to your PC. If you're watching this video as a short, then tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can transfer your images and videos from WhatsApp on your mobile phone to your Windows based PC. Now, first of all, what you need to do is you need to use the charging cable that came with your phone and plug it in to your computer. So to utilize the charging cable that come with your phone, all you need to basically do is just unplug this cable from the power adapter like so, and then plug this end into your computer. Once that's plugged into the computer, grab the other end of the cable and then plug it into the bottom of your phone. Then what we need to do is we need to make sure that the phone is unlocked. Once the phone is unlocked, make sure that you keep it unlocked and make sure that you keep the screen on at all times. So if you've got a short timeout before the screen goes off, then the good, good idea is just occasionally tap on a blank area of the screen just to keep the phone alive. Now, if you've got an iPhone, then it might come up with a message asking, do you trust this device? If you've got that message, then you must say yes or trust to this device. If you say no or don't trust, then this isn't going to work. If you've got an Android phone, then the next thing to do is swipe down from the top of the screen and then you might see something like charging this device come up. If you see that, just tap on it and tap on it again to get a menu similar to this. So it's asking you about USB preferences. So right now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that USB is in file transfer mode on your phone. So tap file transfer just up there. And then the next thing we need to do is we just need to go to our PC. So what we need to do is we need to click on any yellow folder on the desktop. OK, and then we're going to need to create some folders to put our files from WhatsApp into. Now, we must bear in mind at all times we must make sure that our phone screen stays on. So just keep tapping any blank or, or white area of the screen just to keep the phone alive. So I'm going to go into the pictures folder, first of all, on my computer. Let's just double click that and I'm going to create a folder to save my WhatsApp images to. So all I need to do is just find a blank area on the screen, click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side, not the left. Then I'm just going to go down to show more options. Don't worry if you've not got to show more options, that's fine. Go to new and then across to folder and left click folder. And as you can see, new folder appears. So I'm just gonna call this WhatsApp images. There you go, WhatsApp images. Once I've typed that in, press enter or return on your keyboard. And there we go. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my videos folder. You might need to scroll down to find that. So found videos there, left click once on videos, and I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna create a folder called WhatsApp videos. So click the right mouse button, so this menu comes up, click show more options. Again, don't worry if you haven't got show more options, go to new and then go across to folder and left click once on folder. And then here you'll see new folder once again come up and we need to type in there WhatsApp videos. And there we go. Once we've typed in that, press enter or return on your keyboard. Right. So the next thing we need to do is obviously still make sure that your phone is switched on. We need to go to this PC just on the left there. So click this PC. And then we need to look to see if we can find the name of our phone under device and drivers. Now, if there's nothing under devices and drivers and the arrows pointing towards the word devices and drivers, then left click once on the arrow. And there we go. If you still can't see it, then like mine, I think the lead must have fallen out or the phone's turned itself off. I'm just going to plug the lead back in again and put it back into file transfer mode. And there we go. I've got the name of my device, which is OnePlus. So I'm going to double click on OnePlus and then I need to find internal shared storage. 
double left click on that and then go down and we're looking for a folder called WhatsApp. And there it is just there. So double left click on WhatsApp. And then we're looking for a folder called media. So again, double left click media. And then we're looking for a folder called WhatsApp images if we're looking for our photos. So double click that. And in here, he, here is all of our photos that we've sent and received on WhatsApp. In actual fact, in this folder here, it's all the all the images we've received. Now, it might take a little while for all of these images to appear. And as you can see, mine now has got two extra folders in it. You've got a private folder, which I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure what that is. And we've got a sent folder, which is all the images that I've sent through WhatsApp. Now, I'm going to copy everything across on the uh, phone in my WhatsApp images. So to do that, what I need to do is I need to hold down the CTRL key or the control key on your keyboard. This key is usually the key that is on the bottom left of your keyboard, highlighted by the words C or letters CTRL or word control. Keep that held down and then tap the letter A, A for alpha. And then once the all the files go a different color, let go of the CTRL key. And there we go. It's now highlighted all of these files ready for copy. The next thing I want you to do is hold down again the CTRL key and tap the letter C, C for copy, and then let go of the CTRL key. We've just got to now actually initiate the copy to the computer. At the moment, it's copied the photos into the computer's memory. So let's just go into our pictures folder just there on the left. This is a pictures on the computer and there you go. There's our WhatsApp images folder that I created earlier. So double left click on that, then hold down the CTRL key on the control key in the bottom left of the keyboard and tap the letter V, V for Victor. Then let go of the control key. Now, nothing might happen for a little while, but don't worry. It will, like you can see on mine, it has started now and it's now copying across. Now, just please make sure that your phone stays or the phone screen stays on. So just tap on a blank area of the screen just to make sure that the screen doesn't go off because if the phone stops now, then you're gonna find it's gonna interrupt the copy. Now, the copying of the files may take a little while. Please be patient, really depends on the speed of your computer, your phone, and the amount of pictures that you've got to copy across. This really determines how long this is gonna take. But as you can see, there's lots of thumbnails coming up now. These are pictures from my WhatsApp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it in a moment when the pictures have copied over. Okay, so the pictures have now finished copying. That box in the middle of the screen has now gone. So how do we copy the videos over? Well, let's just go back to this PC on the left there and then double left click on the name of our device double click on internal shared storage and then find the whatsapp folder and double left click on that too there it is just there and then double click on media and then double click on WhatsApp video. And in here are all the videos. Again, might take a little while for all the icons to appear. So just leave it for a minute or two. Wait until you see the folders private and sent appear. That's the two yellow folders at the top of the screen. And then hold down the CTRL key, tap the letter A, A for alpha, then let go of the CTRL key. Then once again, hold down the CTRL key and tap the letter C, C for copy. Then let go of the CTRL key. And then we wanna go into our videos folder on the computer, which is just over here on the left. So just click videos there and then double click on our WhatsApp videos folder that we created earlier. Next thing we need to do is hold our finger down on the CTRL key again, and then tap the letter V, V for Victor then let go of the CTRL key. And as you can see, now all the videos are now building up. And again, this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of both your computer and your phone, and also the amount of videos that you've got to copy over. So just be patient with it. As you can see, the green bar on my screen is going up pretty quickly. And then once the green bar reaches the end and the box disappears, that's all the videos then copied over. So we're nearly there and there you go. 
Now, what if you later on add more pictures or videos to your WhatsApp, then what you can do is you can just repeat this procedure. And what will happen is, is when we try and repeat it, let's just go back into File Explorer, go into the name of our device. I'm just going to switch my device back on and unlock it because it has switched itself into standby mode. So let's just go into there and then just go into WhatsApp again. So scroll down to WhatsApp. There we go. And then we go into media and then we go into WhatsApp images. And again, once we're in there, wait for all the icons to load up. And like I say, generally, you'll know when all the icons have loaded up because you'll see private and sent appear at the top. There we go. Hold down the CTRL key. Tap the letter A for alpha, let go of the CTRL key, hold the CTRL key down again, tap the letter C for copy, go into your pictures folder there on the left and then go into the WhatsApp images folder and then hold down the CTRL key again, tap the letter V, V for Victor and then let go of the CTRL key. Again, might take a few seconds for things to start. But once it starts, there you go, you'll see this. So it says there's already a file with the same name in this location. So the best thing to do is to click the little box down there that says do this for the next so so however many conflicts. Mine says 1,496. So tick that box there and just click don't copy. OK, and what that will do is that won't overwrite any of the files that are already on there and only add the new stuff. So you can do the same there with videos as well in exactly the same way. Once you've got these images on your computer, then if you want to, you can move these into other folders in your pictures folder if you want to. Or you can just leave them where they are as a backup or for, for future reference. Let's just click on this picture here and just make sure it opens. There we go. There's a good old fashioned sponge cake. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can copy your WhatsApp photos and videos from your phone to your Windows computer. I hope you like this video. And if you did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to entertain you, educate you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.